2020 Fundamentals of Software Engineering and Project Management Course Totoro Attendance Register Online System Application Team Members Sharon Kangwa, Lois Mwanza, Victor Mwerwa, Rasman Seva, Karib Mtono Project Presentation Team 12 Department of Library and Information Science at the University of Zambia Project Outline Project Outline consists of six parts namely project description, problem statement, procedures and methods, literature review, anticipated outcomes, and project plans. Project description. Project description. The project is more concerned with the creating of a web-based app that can be used to mark a school attendance register to help keep records of attendance safe and protected. Project significant. It will be easy to track students' attendance, save time, an efficient way of taking down attendance records, less or no paperwork is needed. In the past, it has been a challenge to maintain and preserve students' total details for future use. The app will act as a register to use and monitor students' total attendances for a particular course. We thought it wise as a team to take up the task and come up with a solution on how to track total attendances. Project issues and difficulties. In experience of team members, the use of new software tools and integration processes may hinder our project progress. As a team, we may encounter difficulties in coming up with a web-based application because team members lack experience when it comes to software development and this may also hinder our project progress. Okay, picking it up from the previous presenter, I'm presenting on the problem statement. The problem statements helps us to address the problem at hand. Therefore, we came up with the problem statement due to the fact that the main aim of our project is to develop a software system which is going to replace the paper-based tutorial attendance register with an online tutorial attendance register, which is intended to be a web-based. Therefore, an online tutorial attendance register helps us to keep records safe of the student's attendance. So the problems which were associated to the paper-based tutorial attendance register was that the paper-based is not efficient enough and that it is hard to keep, whereby it is prone to damage. It can be easily lost due to its inefficiency. Therefore, these problems outlined, they're the ones that made us to give a thought of coming up with something that is going to be online based, something that is going to be tracking students' uh, attendance, and it's going to help in keeping safe the information of students. Due to these problems, we decided to come up with the uh, online based tutorial attendance register, which gave us some objectives, research questions, and also requirements were also given by the customers. So our problem statement outlined what we needed to do and helped us in the solving of the problem that we are trying to, to solve of replacing this paper-based tutorial attendance register. It made it efficient for us to come up with solutions on solving this problem. So I'm giving it to the next presenter who is going to be presenting on the procedures and methods of our proposal document. Okay, um, taking it over from there, I'm going to talk about procedures and methods. So the things to note here is uh, we'll be talking more, 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 mostly on uh, specifications and um, the entire design, as well as the the implementation and the the major success. So when we talk about the the the, the, the specification of the software, you can say that uh, this the the software has been uh, made in such a way that it's going to have three layers which we've termed to be a three-level architecture. All right, so there's going to be the, the web base, the, the middle part that's going to be dragging information from the database. All right, and then there's going to be a, a login and logout uh, lectures and, and all those things. Okay, the primary study has been already been said by the previous um, uh, presenter, and the functional requirements, they're just the same. So I'm not going to talk much about them since they've been already been described. And then uh, talking about the tire design, so like I said previously, you can see that this is a design of the the high level view of of of, of the thing, right? So you can see that there's a user interface, there's the APIs in between here, 
things that pull information from from the database and then there's a level of uh, authentication there to keep in mind that uh, not everyone can be using this without the, the proper uh, authority and then there's going to be the the integration so the integration part is where we integrate the RSM software with the Moodle database so that everything is being kept in there so that for for self for self keeping all right and then there's the the implementation so the implementation process is uh is uh try to see if what we're doing is in line with what uh we got from from our our clients okay all right and we're going to evaluate that and the last part of it is uh, the measurement of success and a literature review, we look at some of the related work that people have done in attempting to solve the problem of having to use the paper-based attendance register. So some of the applications that have been developed in creating the attendance register, the best example is the Android-based class record system. This is a mobile-based, it runs on an Android phone and hence a faculty who wants to use it needs to install it on their phone. The other one is the automated attendance register. This one uses GPS. It automatically gets information of the user as long as it is installed on their phone. It is complex and it is mostly meant for the world of work. And the other one is the Seco University of British Columbia. They have also developed an application that is meant to help to keep the attendance of students and to make the work of lecturers or tutors or teachers easy. So when we look at the disadvantages of some, I mean the weaknesses of some of these applications that this Android based is it can only work on an Android phone, and hence it is limited. The automated attendance register is complex, and hence it is not easy to use. So this is why we need to create a web-based attendance register, which is going to be easy, which will help teachers to or tutors to mark the register and to keep record of students attending tutorials. In continuation from where my friend has ended, I'm taking it up from ethical issues. All ethical laws we put into consideration for this search proposal. Take for instance, privacy. Our app content shall be only visible to lecturers, tutors, as well as students who are under the Department of Lays at the University of Zambia. Intellectual property. It is considered to be a crime to use someone's information without acknowledgement. Therefore, whatever information or usable software that shall be used to better up our project shall be cited. Moving on the part of unexpected outcomes. Our project anticipates to increase efficiency and effectiveness of tutorial attendance details management with less time consuming. Also to increase preservation of students' tutorial details as well as to make it user-friendly. Project plans. We have work allocation. Work was distributed to the team members as follows. Victor and Caleb will set up the application integration part with Moodle platform. Shalon and Lastman will build the web-based app that will integrate with Moodle platform. Lois and will develop the end-user interface. On part of deliverables, these are the products to be delivered to the customers. Down here we have literature review document, project proposal document, requirements document, project proposal presentation, prototype, project report, as well as project reflection paper. Coming on project plans, we have risks, timeline, gut chart, key milestones. On part of risks, we have people's risks, requirement risks, technological risks, estimation risks. On, down here we have project charts which includes timeline card chart as well as key milestones we thank you for watching us